Now let's see this question. Which of the following is not valid? The conclusion negation P follows from the premises this one. So the premises are given like this. P implies Q. Q implies R is given. Now from these two using the transitivity rule you can conclude this. We have already seen it right. P implies R can be concluded. Now with P implies R if I use negation R then definitely I can conclude negation P from modest tolerance right. So from these two I can conclude this using transitivity rule and from these two I can conclude this using modest tolerance ok. Now let's see this given these premises negation P and then P or Q using these two you can derive Q by using disjunctive syllogism right we have already seen it now whenever you know that q is true you are with anything that is again going to be true by addition rule which means you can add p or negation p now if i add negation p to this then what is it going to look like p implies q therefore from this you can definitely derive this right so that is what we can conclude so since we are able to conclude this from it it is right okay now let's see option C. Now it is given as P implies Q implies R. So let's try to simplify this one. I can write it as negation P R Q implies R. Isn't it? Again this one I can write it as negation P R negation Q R R. Right? Now again I can write this one as negation P and Q R R. Therefore I could write this one as P and Q R R right now if you see this P and Q is given and this one is given so definitely we can conclude it as R right therefore it is definitely true so this one this one this you know A B C are definitely valid now let's see for D now let's see this one P to Q is given P, P implies Q and q implies r is given from these two i can come to the conclusion p implies r now i can join this one with negation p now what is the conclusion going to be p implies r and negation p right so it cannot be negation r right so that is already we have just seen earlier in one of the fallacies it is nothing but fallacy of assuming inverse right therefore this cannot be the conclusion so this cannot be the conclusion and so d is not valid and all the others are valid okay Hi. if you are planning to do masters then doing masters abroad is better than doing masters in india i'll give you all the reasons so first reason is out of one lakh students who take gate every year there are only 500 seats in old IITs. So all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5%. And IITs, universities better than IITs, they have very good acceptance rate like 30%, 40%. But all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5%. And if you are working hard to get into IIT Bombay, IIT Bombay's ranking is 177. And IIT Roorkee's ranking is 400. If you are happy to get into IIT Roorkee, then getting into universities better than IIT Roorkee is easier compared to getting into IIT Roorkee. And looking at the salaries for computer science, of, uh, for software jobs, if you have done your masters in computer science in US, the salaries are ranging from 80 lakhs per year to 1.2 crore per year. So even if you take an average of 1 crore per year, your savings will be much higher than the salaries in India. After taxes and your cost of living, you can easily save 40 to 50 lakhs uh, per year. And in India, the maximum jobs that you get is around 30 lakhs. So your savings will be much greater than the salaries in India. And these are all the services that we provide. University shortlisting. So depending on your profile, we will shortlist what are the universities that you have to apply. And statement of purpose building and then LOR guidance and GRE and English test assistance and education loan assistance. So you don't have to have any collateral, which, which means without any security, now you can get education loan. Getting education loan is very simple these days. And whatever the amount fee, the amount of uh, fee that you have, 
you have a range of uh, universities. You can apply for 10 lakh universities, 20 lakh universities or 50 lakh universities. But whatever it is, you are going to get complete education loan and you can pay off your education loan in one year after you, getting it, after you get a job. And then we do visa assistance, mock visa interviews and then connecting with the university alumni. So now you might ask why we should join Game of Visas. So the answer is we have 90% success rate, 99% success rate. And these are all the destinations that we guide the students to. So we guide students to any country that you want to go. So now it is not just USA. We guide to UK, Germany, Australia, Canada. So we guide, we guide students to all the countries. We work with all the destinations. And if you are interested in going abroad, you have to just drop us a message on this WhatsApp number 9494 Okay, thank you.